In this video, I'm going to test play Kid Ridiculous version 0.166 and talk a bit about the project. Most of the Mario code is implemented. It's a little bit janky in places, but it works. It's enough so that he can transit between screens by going down the warp. Uh, he can uh, reveal hidden blocks, like the one at Mushroom. He can finish a level. I'm going to turn on the Box2D debug renderer to get a better look at how the physics of the game are implemented. And Mario really likes that flag, so he doesn't want to get off. Looking quickly on the right of the screen, we can see the player detectors for the screen. Let's see what Mario can do. So he can kill some Metroid enemies. He can't jump as high as Samus. So he might have to go under some stuff. Or change to Samus. The transition from Mario to Samus is really plain right now. It can use some polish, but that's something for the future. I'll try to show that all of Samus's move characteristics are implemented, except for things like the missile and the screw attack. When Samus is damaged, the sprite will blink at 60 frames per second, so it might not show up well on a YouTube video. Sorry about that. Also, no doors yet, but they're next on the agenda. To do the doors, I also need to do proper screen transitions. As you can see, the screen isn't the proper 256 by 240 pixel screen uh, that would be necessary because some of those rooms are only 256 pixels wide. Too much of the game world is shown. That's all folks, thanks for watching.